Step into the world of extreme security and luxury on countdown 15 of the most ultra-protected bunkers designed for the super-rich. These high-tech fortresses offer unparalleled protection, blending cutting-edge survival features with opulent comforts that only the super-rich can afford. Let's start with number 15, Vivos X Point. Beneath the hills of Fall River County near the Black Hills of South Dakota is an underground survival community known as Vivos X Point. This sprawling complex, once a bustling military site, has been transformed into the world's largest private shelter network, designed to accommodate up to 5,000 people in 575 individual bunkers. From the outside, it presents a curious sight. Hundreds of earth-covered domes arranged in precise rows, their concrete form subtly interrupting the green landscape. For over two decades, the Black Hills Ordnance Depot provided not only employment, but also a sense of community to the families living there. The fort was more than just a workplace, it was a self-contained town, complete with schools, shops, and entertainment facilities, reflecting a bygone era of American life. In the summer of 1967, Fort Igloo was closed, leaving behind a ghost town of sorts. However, this once forgotten site has been resurrected and reimagined as Vivos X Point. This complex spans about 18 square miles and it's strategically located in one of the safest and most remote regions in North America. One of the most striking aspects here is its price point. Each bunker is available for a base price of $25,000 with a 99-year land and bunker lease. Well, despite this relatively low cost, the opportunities for customizations are vast. Buyers can choose to outfit their bunkers with everything from solar power, nuclear, biological, and chemical air filtration systems to fully equipped kitchens, hydroponic gardens, and even private theaters. These bunkers come in at blank slates, allowing the owners to design and furnish them accordingly. Whether a small family or a larger group, each bunker can comfortably house 10 to 20 people with provisions for long-term survival. Number 14, the Survival Condo. So at first glance, the Survival Condo appears kind of unassuming. A guard post behind a barbed wire fence, a wind turbine slowly turning in the breeze, and a few carefully placed surveillance cameras are all that hint at what lies below. However, hidden beneath the Kansas soil is one of the most extraordinary living spaces imaginable, a luxury apartment complex that descends 200 feet underground. The structure is divided into 15 floors, each designed with precision and care to provide not just safety, but also comfort and convenience. The top level features a dome housing communal recreational facilities, including a pet park, a climbing wall, and even a swimming pool complete with a water slide. Below this, the silo is a self-contained world, with three floors dedicated to essential services such as mechanical rooms, medical facilities, and a fully equipped food store that utilizes hydroponics and aquaculture to ensure a continuous supply of fresh produce. The attention to detail here is astonishing. Every unit is designed to feel like a high-end apartment in a major city, complete with stainless steel appliances, plush furniture, and state-of-the-art technology. These aren't just panic rooms, they are homes, meticulously crafted to provide every comfort imaginable, even in the face of a disaster. However, such luxury and security comes at a pretty steep price. The smallest units in the survival condo start at one million bucks, with larger, more expansive spaces commanding up to three million. In addition to that initial cost, residents have to pay a monthly fee of 2,500 bucks to cover living expenses, including utilities, internet access, and provisions. For the ultra-rich, however, these costs are a pretty small price to pay for a peace of mind. Number 13, Europa One. Vivos Europa One isn't just an underground shelter, it's kind of an experience. That is, if you can afford it. This exclusive survival complex, hidden away from prying eyes, is a fortress capable of withstanding almost any conceivable disaster, natural or man-made. Made with the super elite in mind, Vivos Europa One offers not just protection, it's a new life. It spans an impressive 227,000 square feet underground, with additional above-ground facilities that bring the total over 271,000 square feet. It was originally constructed during the Cold War by the Soviets as a military fortress. This site was later acquired by the German government before being sold to a private investor. Today, it's been transformed into a five-star underground community where a select few can purchase their own personalized bunkers. Each family invited to join this exclusive community receives 2,500 square feet of living space, which can be expanded into two levels, providing up to 5,000 square feet. 
Whether it's a sprawling master suite, a state-of-the-art kitchen, or a private gym, the possibilities of customization are endless, limited only by your imagination and the desires of the occupants. The amenities here are far more than what you might expect from an underground bunker. It includes pools, theaters, gyms, a fully equipped hospital, and even restaurant spaces. Every detail has been considered to ensure that residents not only survive, but thrive even in the most challenging of circumstances. This complex also features advanced climate control and air filtration systems, redundant power supplies, and a water treatment plant, all designed to function autonomously for years if necessary. Now, the cost of securing a place in Vivos Europa 1 is pretty substantial. The original construction cost of the complex was estimated at over 200 million euros, with its current replacement value approaching 1 billion euros. For those who can afford it, however, this investment offers more than just a place to ride out a global catastrophe. Number 12. Atlas F Silo Home Hidden in the rural expanse of what Manhattanites refer to as the country lies an extraordinary piece of real estate that blends the echoes of the Cold War tension with modern luxury, the Atlas F Silo Home. At first glance, this unassuming property appears to be just another peaceful retreat in the countryside. However, once inside, a labyrinth of descending staircases reveals its identity, an underground missile silo repurposed into a unique and fortified home. Its story begins in the late 1950s during the height of the Cold War anxiety. It was originally built to house an Atlas F intercontinental ballistic missile. The structure was part of a network of missile silos designed to withstand nuclear war. The U.S. government invested millions of dollars into these silos, equipping them with state-of-the-art tech to ensure they could survive a direct nuclear attack and still launch a retaliatory strike. The construction of this particular silo, completed in the early 1960s, was a monumental feat, with costs exceeding $18 million at the time. That's equivalent to nearly $400 million today. Well, after decades of dormancy, the silo was rediscovered and acquired in 1991 by a pair of entrepreneurs who saw potential in its massive space. The result is a property that offers 1,800 square feet of modern, above-ground living space with all the comforts one might expect from a cozy retreat. However, the real intrigue here begins underground. A staircase winds 125 feet down into the earth, leading to what was once the launch control center. This section of the home, encased in three-foot-thick concrete walls reinforced with stainless steel mesh, has been meticulously renovated. It now offers 2,300 square feet of living space, including two bedroom suites with opulent marble bathrooms, a kitchen, a dining area, and even an entertainment room. This underground level is an example of the silo's original purpose, with its structure designed to survive a nuclear blast and protect its inhabitants. Number 11. Iron Mountain When it comes to the hills of western Pennsylvania, there is more than meets the eye. An unexpected sight disrupts the serene beauty of Butler County. A high chain-like fence, crowned with razor wire, marks the entrance to a unique facility that conceals its secrets beneath the surface. This is Iron Mountain's main archive facility, located within a sprawling 1,000-acre abandoned limestone mine covering over 140 acres. It's guarded by semi-automatic pistol-wielding sentinels. This main facility's archive plunges 22 stories straight down, creating an elaborate subterranean honeycomb. Among the corridors and red steel doors embedded in the rock face, room number 48 emerges as an experiment in data center energy efficiency. Operating for a mere six months, this room serves as Iron Mountain's laboratory for optimizing the use of geothermal conditions and engineering designs to create an ideal environment for electronic documents. Now, unlike traditional data centers, Room 48 eschews the raised floor concept. Networking wires float above the server racks, drawing cooling benefits from the limestone walls and vents attached to the ceiling. Natural light does penetrate the room enough through an extended ceiling tube strategically designed to minimize any heat. This ingenious design allows the 55-degree limestone roof to absorb any excess heat, preventing its accumulation in the 4,100-square-foot space. Charles Doughty, Iron Mountain's Vice President of Engineering, guides visitors through this subterranean marvel, sharing his profound knowledge of molecular chemistry and mineral properties. With 37 years of experience in the tunnels of this former mine, he's on a perpetual quest to refine the perfect environment for storing both paper and electronic records. Doughty's subterranean office, adorned with dark wood furniture and carpeted floors, stands as an example of the fusion of executive elegance and rugged natural rock. 
The underground, as it's aptly named by employees, houses various amenities, including a cafe and a fire department with three engines. A network of golf carts will navigate the miles of roadways and tunnels, shuttling the 2,700 workers, including Dottie, who traverse this unique subterranean world. Number 10. Rising S S Bunkers, a Texas-based company specializing in the design and construction of underground shelters, has positioned itself as a leader in this industry, truly living up to its name. Founded during a time when global tensions began to rise anew, the company was created with a single mission, to provide safe havens that could withstand the worst imaginable scenarios. The roots of Rising S Bunkers trace back to a period when the concept of underground shelters wasn't entirely new, but the demand for them had significantly waned since the Cold War. However, since the world's geopolitical climate and a series of natural disasters reignited the demand for secure underground living spaces, recognizing the need, Rising S Bunkers was established to cater to a growing market of individuals and families. Business at Rising S has surged dramatically, with inquiries from potential buyers skyrocketing by over 2,000%. The company's fabrication facility, capable of building anything from scratch, remains focused on underground bunkers because of the pressing demand and their belief in the necessity of these shelters. While some might assume that such security comes at a really high price, the company provides options that start at just under $40,000, making it accessible to a broader audience. For those with deeper pockets, however, the sky is the limit, literally and figuratively. The top-of-the-line aristocrat bunker is priced at $8.3 million. It's a sprawling underground complex designed for up to 50 people. For those desiring a blend of security and comfort, this bunker is more akin to an underground mansion than a mere shelter. Mid-range options like The General at $1.5 million and The Fortress at $1 million offer spacious and well-equipped living spaces complete with all the necessary features to ensure long-term survival and a bit of comfort. These bunkers come with reinforced steel walls, nuclear biological chemical air filtration systems, and even advanced security measures, ensuring that inhabitants can weather any storm, both literal and metaphorical. Number 9. The Greenbrier Bunker the Greenbrier Bunker is a remarkable example of Cold War-era secrecy and preparedness. It's buried deep beneath the luxurious Greenbrier Resort in White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia. Now, it was originally built as a nuclear fallout shelter for the entire United States Congress. This bunker remains a fascinating site that represents both the fear and ingenuity of its time. The Greenbrier Resort has a history dating back to its founding in 1778. It's known for its opulence and its appeal to the American elite. The resort has hosted numerous dignitaries, politicians, and celebrities over the centuries. Located in the remote Allegheny Mountains, this Greenbrier provided an idyllic and secure setting, making it a location for a secret government project. In the late 1950s, as the Cold War escalated, the U.S. government sought a secure location where Congress could continue to operate in the event of a nuclear attack. The Greenbrier, with its secluded location and existing connections to Washington's political elite, was selected for this purpose. Construction of the bunker, codenamed Project Greek Island, began in 1958, and it was completed in 62, during the height of the Cuban Missile Crisis. Now, unlike today's bunkers, which are typically privately owned and intended for individual or family use, the Greenbrier Bunker was massive. It's a government-operated facility designed to accommodate over a thousand people. It was a true underground city, complete with dormitories, a cafeteria, medical facilities, a broadcast center, even separate chambers for the House of Representatives and Senate. Today, though, the Greenbrier Bunker is no longer a secret, and it's been decommissioned as a government facility. The space, though, is now open for public tours, allowing visitors to explore the once-classified site and learn about its history. Number 8. Indian Creek the Indian Creek Island, located in Biscayne Bay behind Miami Beach, is often hailed as the most exclusive residential enclave in America. It's known locally as the Billionaire Bunker. This 300-acre island represents the pinnacle of privacy, luxury, and security, drawing comparisons to elite residential communities worldwide. Accessible only by a gated two-lane bridge guarded by armed personnel, the island is home to a select group of residents, including Ivanka Trump, Julio Iglesias, and billionaire investor Carl Icahn. Its properties frequently exchange hands for prices exceeding $40 million, making it one of the most expensive addresses in the world. 
the island's security is paramount, with its own 13-person police force and marine patrol dedicated to maintaining the peace. The Indian Creek Country Club, too, features a golf course designed by William Flynn. It occupies the island's center, effectively barring new development and preserving its exclusivity. Indian Creek's latest listing, 37 Indian Creek Island Road, exemplifies the island's opulent standards. It's priced at a staggering $59 million. This spec mansion, developed by Miami Beach's Todd Michael Glazer and his partners, spans nearly 16,000 square feet. The mansion includes a club room, chef and prep kitchens, a media room, and of course, a full gym. Outdoors, the property has 134 feet of bay frontage, dockage for yachts up to 110 feet, a tropical arboretum quality garden, and an infinity pool. Indian Creek Island functions almost like a self-contained fortress, offering its residents unparalleled privacy and security. The 37 Indian Creek Island Road listing underscores that ethos, providing a residence that's both a statement of wealth and a secure haven. Moving on to number 7, Trident Lakes. Trident Lakes is a one-of-a-kind development in Ector, Texas, offering a fortified lifestyle, blending luxury resort amenities with state-of-the-art preparedness. It's designed as a sustainable, interactive community that promises both comfort and security. It does stand apart from typical survivalist developments by integrating high-end resort features. The $330 million, 700-acre project is the brainchild of Ventuary Holdings, a group of investors who envisioned a community that could thrive in the face of global calamity. It's located an hour and a half north of Dallas, Texas. Trident Lake offers a residence a five-star playground with DEFCON 1 preparedness, a concept that transforms the traditional idea of a bunker into a luxurious escape. The development's going to feature 600 waterfront condominiums, priced between half a million and 1.5 million, each offering a blend of above-ground beauty and underground safety. The community's design emphasizes both luxury and security with armed guards, a 13-foot-high perimeter wall, and helipads to ensure safe access in any situation. At Trident Lakes, luxury amenities are paired with extensive survival capabilities, setting it apart from other high-end developments. Multiple sports courts, equestrian facilities, they all cater to a lifestyle of leisure and recreation. The Piste de Resistance is a 55,000 square foot fountain featuring a towering statue of Poseidon, making it one of the largest fountains in the world. The developers here have planned for every conceivable disaster, from nuclear attacks to pandemics. The community is going to include navigable tunnels, an advanced purification system to protect against biochemical threats, off-grid supplies of food, water, and electricity, of course. For added security, a DNA vault will be available to the residents, potentially allowing for chromosomal defect correction and ensuring the health of future generations. Number 6. The Burlington Bunker Beneath the market town of Corsham in Wiltshire, England, lies a clandestine world shrouded in secrecy, a 35-acre subterranean marvel known as the Burlington Nuclear Bunker. Emerging from the Cold War era, this bomb-proof, radiation-proof, and poison-gas-proof underground city was strategically nestled within the limestone caves beneath the town. Constructed in the late 1950s, Burlington was the UK's covert refuge designed to shelter up to 4,000 central government personnel. This colossal underground complex stretching over a mile in length with 60 miles of roads was more than a mere bunker. In the heart of this subterranean realm are offices, laundries, supplies, storerooms, a hospital, cafeterias, kitchens, and even a television studio where the government could address the public, seamlessly coexisting together. Now, beyond its utilitarian purpose, Burlington embraced a touch of whimsy. It's adorned with murals by artist Olga Lehman, depicting diverse scenes from the circus and prehistoric monsters to sailors of yore and mermaids. Notably, though, a controversial painting depicting a missionary padre being boiled alive stirred intrigue and a little debate. This underground city, which ran on colossal generators, had over 100,000 lights, even rumored to have a pub named the Rose and Crown, remained a fascinating mystery. Conflicting reports persist about the existence, though, of this subterranean pub. One of the most remarkable features here was an underground lake, climate-controlled to provide fresh drinking water. Kept in utmost secrecy until its decommissioning in 2004, Burlington was never utilized. Today, though, remnants of government-issued glass ashtrays, lavatory brushes, and civil service tea sets lay untouched. 
As the facility went up for sale in 2004, various eccentric proposals surfaced, ranging from transforming it into a massive data storage site and Europe's largest wine cellar to a nightclub for rave parties and a 1950s theme park. Well, Burlington, once a bastion of covert ops, is now a mysterious subterranean world. Number 5. Safe Safe, strategically armored and fortified environments, founded and led by Al Corby, is a company that caters to the ultra-wealthy by designing and constructing some of the most extreme survival bunkers on the planet. Corby, who's been at the forefront of secure luxury for about five decades, is known for creating fortified environments. He's based in Virginia. Safe has become the go-to for billionaires seeking to protect themselves from a range of threats, from nuclear wars to apocalyptic events, including a zombie outbreak, you know, just in case. Safe's bunkers are not your average underground shelters. They're fortified compounds that combine medieval defense strategies with modern technology. One of the standout features is a 30-foot deep moat filled with a flammable liquid that can be ignited to create a defensive ring of fire. This moat is accessed via a swing bridge, which also doubles as a track for jet skis and paddle boards. The entrance to the bunker itself is protected by a tunnel armed with flamethrowers, gassing systems, and a steel gate. Inside, these bunkers are anything but spartan. They feature blast-proof doors, unbreakable windows, and biometric door entry systems. Now, when it comes to pricing, safe services are so exclusive that there is no standard pricing available online. Potential clients are advised to contact the company directly for an estimate. And given the level of customization and security involved, it's clear that these bunkers are reserved for the ultra-rich. Now, the bunkers designed by SAFE are filled with wild features that seem like they're straight out of a movie. Water cannons that are capable of taking out helicopters or drones are just one example. The moat, which serves as a key defensive feature, can also be used for water sports. Now, their work often draws on a medieval defensive strategy like moats and fortresses, but with a modern twist. Despite the serious nature of the threats these bunkers are designed to defend against, there's also a bit of a playful side. For instance, the swing bridge that doubles as a jet ski track, or the escape tunnels that can be used for go-karting, shows that Corby's designs are as much about lifestyle as they are about survival. Number 4. Koalau Ranch Mark Zuckerberg's Koalau Ranch compound on the remote island of Kauai in Hawaii stands as a striking example of modern luxury. Acquired by Zuckerberg and his wife Priscilla Chan over several years, this extensive property spans more than 700 acres and showcases an ambitious vision that blends opulent living with comprehensive security. The development began with the acquisition of two adjacent beachside properties in 2014 for over $100 million, followed by an additional purchase of 89 acres for about $45 million. The property extends a mile inland from the ocean, encompassing a former sugarcane plantation. This expansive site features multiple streams and forested valleys. However, it's the scale and sophistication of the construction that truly define the compound. This complex includes two main mansions with a combined floor area of over 57,000 square feet, equivalent to a professional football field. These mansions, connected by a tunnel, are supported by a network of secondary buildings. The compound is not merely a personal retreat, but appears to be a venue for hosting corporate events. One of the notable features of it is the underground shelter, a 5,000 square foot space designed to offer protection and self-sufficiency. Security here is a paramount concern, with over 20 cameras planned for one building alone, and many doors are designed to be soundproof or blend into the surrounding walls. It's equipped with a 55-foot diameter water tank and a comprehensive food production system spread across 1,400 acres. This includes ranching and agriculture, ensuring that the compound can sustain its residents independently. The amenities within the compound further reflect that luxurious nature, including a full-size gym, pool, sauna, hot tub, cold plunge, tennis court, and an elaborate network of tree houses. Zuckerberg's acquisition and development of the land have not been without controversy. The property includes several Kuleana lands, which were historically granted to local families. This has led to tensions with the Kauai community and exacerbated by Zuckerberg's efforts to control or purchase these lands. The cost of the ranch compound totally includes construction and land acquisitions is estimated at around $270 million, placing it among the most expensive private projects globally. This significant investment does highlight a growing trend among the wealthy to prepare for potential global crises with a combination of luxury and advanced survival that rivals the likes of Dr. Evil. Number 3. The Cyber House 
In a striking convergence of futuristic design and apocalyptic preparedness, the Cyber House emerges as a concept from Modern House, a St. Petersburg-based architectural firm. The Cyber House is a proposed multi-story bunker designed to endure extreme conditions such as hurricanes, earthquakes, and even radioactive contamination. The project, announced shortly after the unveiling of Tesla's Cybertruck, reflects the growing interest in high-tech, disaster-resistant architecture. The structure is envisioned to cover about 984 square feet and could house up to seven people. It's built around a core of reinforced concrete inspired by the protective features of modern nuclear subs. Key features include airlocked doors, sloped walls to deter invaders, and systems for water and air purification. The Cyber House is intended to be fully autonomous, powered by solar panels and wind turbines, with the capability to sustain people for up to a year without external resources. Additional amenities include outdoor terracing for sunbathing and potential for a small swimming pool. The architect emphasized that the design is not only prioritizing safety, but also ensures comfortable, self-sufficient living. While there are no immediate plans to construct a cyber house, the architect has reported interest from potential clients in Russia, Spain, and the US, suggesting a strong market for such innovative designs. This bunker isn't merely a refuge, it's also an exploration of how contemporary tastes in architecture and technology might evolve. This concept resonates with the broader trend of integrating high-tech solutions into everyday life, inspired by the Cybertruck's unique design. I mean, the Cybertruck itself has been a cultural touchstone, often compared to futuristic vehicles like the film Blade Runner, and receiving accolades from The Walking Dead for its potential in a zombie apocalypse. Number 2. Cheyenne Mountain Complex The Cheyenne Mountain Complex, it's one of the most iconic military installations in the United States. It was carved deep into the heart of Cheyenne Mountain in Colorado. Construction began in 1961, driven by Cold War anxieties and the need for a command center that could withstand a nuclear strike. By 1966, the complex was fully operational, serving as the headquarters for NORAD. Its mission was to detect and track potential threats to North America, including unidentified aircraft, incoming missiles, and other dangers. The bunker was built to endure the unthinkable, nuclear blasts, EMPs, and even ground invasions. To achieve this, the complex was fortified with over 2,000 feet of granite, and the interior buildings were mounted on massive springs to absorb the shockwave from a nuclear explosion. It has an imposing entrance, a fortified tunnel leading straight into the mountainside. It's appeared in several films and TV shows. The most famous of these is Stargate SG-1, where the complex served as the fictional home of Stargate Command. The show's influence was so significant that a real-life bunker even features a broom closet labeled Stargate Command in a nod to the series. The complex was a monumental investment, costing approximately $142 million, or equivalent to over a billion dollars today when adjusted for inflation. However, technology has evolved and the nature of threats changed. The complex's role has diminished. By the mid-2000s, most of its operations had been moved to Peterson Air Force Base, just a few miles away. Today, Cheyenne Mountain serves as a backup facility maintained by a small crew to ensure it can be activated in case of emergency. Number 1. The Oppidum The global upheaval brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic highlights the urgent need for secure, self-sufficient havens. As the world faced an unprecedented crisis, many individuals, especially among the ultra-wealthy, began to prioritize preparedness against various potential disasters. Among the solutions that emerged was the underground bunker, once the domain of conspiracy theorists and doomsday preppers. Now a sought-after luxury for those with the means to invest in such a sanctuary. Oppidum specializes in creating luxurious fortified underground bunkers designed to withstand a range of catastrophic events. Now, what sets them apart is not only the security of these residences, but also their integration of luxury amenities, making them an appealing choice for the ultra-high net worth people. Their bunkers are built deep underground and feature a suite of security measures tailored to be the most stringent requirements. Each bunker is reinforced with layers of thick concrete to ensure blast protection, advanced air filtration systems, and rooms that enhance safety. Power and water supplies are planned, including two diesel generators and a backup system, ensuring that the residence remains operational. Now, the design process begins with a comprehensive survey of geological and hydrological conditions to ensure that the bunker can withstand any threats. The residences also include spas, indoor gardens with artificial skylights, and art galleries with vault-like security. Each element of the design is crafted to offer a blend of functionality and indulgence. 
The residents are bespoke, with clients having the option to include virtually any amenity they want. The L'Eretage model, for example, designed by the French architect Marc Puget, is the cream of the crop. It features soaring ceilings, fine-grained wood flooring, handcrafted chandeliers, and an inner garden. Lighting here is a significant challenge in an underground design, and Prigent's work includes advanced systems that simulate natural light cycles. The residences do also include libraries, wine storage, game rooms, and even movie theaters, making them as much about luxury living as they're about protection. These underground homes are designed to be as comfortable as they are secure, with entry-level models starting at $10 million and some reaching up to $100 million. Oppidum's residences offer a unique solution for those looking to combine ultimate security with high-class living. Thanks for staying with me for that one, guys. I'll see you next time. Thank you to our channel members.